To, to turn to another point, Chairman Powell, I realize there are a number of factors that play a role in the historic inflation that we're experiencing. Uh, supply chain disruptions, regulations that constrain supply. We've got rising inflation expectations and excessive fiscal spending. But the problem hasn't sprung out of nowhere. And in January of 2021, inflation was at 1.4 percent. By December of 2021, it had risen to 7 a five-fold increase. Now, since the war in Ukraine began in late February, the rate of inflation has risen incrementally another 1.6 percent to a current level of 8.6%. So again, uh, from 7% to 8.6%. Given how inflation has escalated over the past 18 months, would you say that the war in Ukraine is the primary driver of inflation in America? No, inflation was high before, certainly before the uh, war in Ukraine broke out. Uh, I'm glad to hear you say that. The Biden administration seems to be intent on deflecting blame, and as recently as just this past Sunday, spread the misinformation that Putin's invasion of Ukraine is the, quote, biggest single driver of inflation. I'm glad you agree with me that that is not the truth. Um, I'd like to turn to, to the situation we find ourselves in now, tightening. A recent survey of global CEOs showed that more than 60 percent of executives expect a recession in the next 18 months. <clears throat> Meanwhile, per its most recent forecast, the Fed will be tightening monetary policy for the next two and a half years. Thus, the Fed could soon find itself in the challenging position of potentially exacerbating an economic downturn in order to address the historic inflation that's been unleashed by the Biden administration. So, Mr. Chairman, as you know, the Fed has a dual mandate, stable prices and maximum employment. As we look to the fall, how do you think about balancing this potential tension between the Fed's two mandates, particularly if the economic outlook worsens, but inflation remains elevated? So we do have a dual mandate, as you point out. Right, right now, um, the labor market is extremely tight and I would say unsustainably hot. Uh, and um, there's a mismatch between supply and demand there. As you know, there, there's a, more job openings uh, than there are by a factor of two to one than there are unemployed people looking for work. On the inflation side, we're very far from our target. So we think that we have to restore price stability to put the economy back in a place where in the medium and longer term we can have an ex, you know, a sustained period of, of uh, what we would call maximum employment. So that's, that's how we're thinking about it. Of course, we're not... We're not trying to provoke uh, and don't think that we will need to provoke a recession, but we do think it's absolutely essential that we restore price stability uh, really for the benefit of, of the labor market as much as yeah. anything else. Yeah, I agree. I think you have an extremely challenging job, particularly given some of the physical policies that have been undertaken that make your job uh, more challenging than it should be. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Thanks, Senator. Senator Smith from Minnesota is recognized for five minutes. <clears throat> 